Hey y'all, welcome to my classroom. My name is Ashley and I'm an 11th year first grade teacher here in Texas. And this is gonna be a 10 things that I could not live without in my classroom. So I'm not, I'm gonna start this video saying, I'm not saying that you have to go out and buy these things right now. Every classroom is different. Everyone works differently in the things they use in their classroom. So I'm not saying that these are must haves for you, but they are amazing items for me. So first, the first thing that I don't think I could live without is my rolly carts. So I actually have one, two, three of them currently. Um, I use uh, I use one for behind my desk and it holds like my computer. All my other stuff that I need. Um, I use one for my small group books and stuff. use one for my library for like the book return, um, hospital and book. I mean like fixing like buddy hospital basically. And they just, I love that they roll. I love that I can move them around easily. Like I can move the one that we use for our small group books. I can move it out in the hallway and they can put their books in it in the morning and I can move it back in my classroom. Like they're just so convenient and so nice. And I love all the like accessories that you can throw with it because then I can use it for multiple uses. Like I bought the the top, you'll see, uh, for the top for one of them, so I could put my computer on it and move it off my desk when I'm doing small groups, so I could have more space for them. Um, so it, it's just, it's an amazing thing. Um, so that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing that I don't think I could have lived without, or that that is like essential for my classroom, is um, my three door tubs. I have those three drawer tubs every year. I use them to organize my centers for my kids. I use them to organize the turn in stuff for my kids. I use them to organize stuff for me. Um, I don't think I could live without those things. And to go w along with the three drawer tubs, um, the, um, I, I guess, paper paper tubs. I don't know what you call them. From, go see them. From um, Target, they're the colorful little tubs that fit like a, they fit, honestly, they fit the size of a construction paper. And I have those everywhere in my classroom as well for multiple things, multiple reasons for in my classroom. Um, and I just, I don't, I don't think I could live without I don't think my my classroom would function as easily without those items. Um, by the way, I also do want to say, I know you're seeing clips of my video in my classroom throughout this. I did not clean up. This is a lived in classroom, a real live classroom. And I just want to preface that because yeah. Okay. The other thing um, that I don't think I could function without in my classroom is my voice level. <laughs> I know a lot of people do the voice level like lights where you can like click the lights and it's level one, level two, level three. I got, it's the same one that Maylene from Mrs. Calls Campers has and it's just a light that you turn their color on. So my kids know when it's this color, they're on this level. When it's this color, they're on this level. I don't think I could do without that. Like I just, that light is so essential. I use it every single day. I make sure I have it. I, I mean, it's just so nice to have. Um, and the other thing that I don't think I could live without is, I don't have my keys. Oh, um, actually, no, I could. Uh, stickers. <laughs> Ms. Hempel loves. <laughs> and I use stickers for everything. It's just an easy reward to get the kids. Um, and now that there's Timu, it's even cheaper to get some of those sticker packs. And I just love it. So, um, I, like I said, they're not essential things, but they're things that just make my classroom and my kids happy. And that's how we run in this classroom. The other thing is rainbow carts. I have, um, <music> I 
four, but three of them are the same. Um, I use them for their jungle boxes, which is any work that stays home, that stays at the school or anything that we need to keep here goes in them. And I also have um, one for their fast finisher cart that you've seen in a couple other videos, but I don't think I could live without them. So yeah, those things are like highly essential for my classroom. Um, and then the other thing, uh, I don't even remember how many I have, I've said, hang on. Okay, so <clears throat> I think that's five. So the next thing is um, my hang, the, the hooks for the little clips that hang on the ceiling that you can like display things on. <laughs> Um, I love bringing the kids artwork into my classroom and then when you walk in the room you just feel like I, I just, it just makes me feel like it's more of our room instead of just my room so having their artwork here just makes it mm, I love it so that's another thing that I think for my classroom and the way that I like it to function is that and just places to display their work so I have those in the classroom and in the hallway I have like hooks to display their work too um I just feel like it just makes it more I don't know. I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. Um, okay, and then the next thing is pocket charts. I do not think I could live without pocket charts in my class. I have um one for their vocabulary one for um oh gosh our retelling i have one for the calendar i have one that holds all of our clever cards i have that's really not a pocket chart but i'm gonna count it it's a, it holds all of our headphones i have one for their pencil parking i have one for my sticker store um i have one for like when they're ready to get any r test that way i know who's testing i have one to hold some supplies like i love pocket charts like they just oh and I have some on our focus wall to hold our, our like um sight words and things like that like it, they are it's just, those are essential like could not live without them um another thing that I like that I that I use all the time is anchor chart paper like and I know that's something silly to include in this but I use it all the time <laughs> I make anger charts all the time even if it's not just an anger chart we're making if it's even if it's just like a quick like little thing that I want to talk about I use anger chart I don't know why I don't use my whiteboard I just I have the whiteboard right there but most of the time I'll just grab a little anger chart paper I guess it's because we have we have we have really good access to it at our school so I know I can get more of that I don't I mean I can get more of a whiteboard I can just erase it but that's not how my, my brain function my brain functions like oh this has oh I guess it's the writing lines it has writing lines I can I can show them how this is supposed to be written things like that so um anger chart paper I love anger chart paper it's amazing and then the last thing that I feel like I mean I definitely could not function without these is it's probably the most important is organizational bins some type of organizational bin. Something to organize my stuff in and put it where it needs to go. Like, have to have that. Like, that's just number numero uno. So, yeah. That is all of my classroom essentials. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, uh, you should have seen me rolling over some things as I was talking. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on my next one whenever that is. Bye y'all.